good morning my dear students i am once more again with you all this is sara vijit conducting online classes for don bosco higher secondary school kokrajhar class 9 subject information technology and we are in chapter 6 unit 3 so this is we are learning now word p r o c e w s i n g and we are learning word processing with the help of ms word so in our last class or in, our, in my last video lecture i have completed till how can you format actually we are in formatting now how can you format with the help of bold italics and underline if you go through my last video you will understand from today onwards i will share my video through my youtube channel i already have a youtube channel from long time but now onwards i will again start sharing the video with the help of this youtube channel so that i know the attendance now today we will learn about paragraph formatting okay paragraph formatting p a r a g r a p h paragraph formatting now suppose this is a paragraph this is a paragraph so simple paragraph okay now uh this paragraph can be of uh, 50 lines also this paragraph can be of 20 lines also but here i have used a very simple and small paragraph now first option is coming here is indenting paragraphs okay indenting paragraphs indenting feature is used to move the complete paragraph okay or the first line to a specific number of spaces between left or right margin moving the paragraph indenting means moving the paragraph very simple if i say it is moving the paragraph a well indented document always uh, catches the reader's attention okay if my document is looking very beautiful very nice then of course uh, the readers also uh, will like to read it the readers also will like to read it suppose the last example that i have given this is this is a well indented document this is a well indented document you see the readers also will love to read this a well indented a well presented document okay this is one example uh, suppose i will close this let me come to this now uh here you will get let me show you very nicely that where you will get the the where from you can use the indent <coughs> you can use the indentation or where from uh, in front of text where from you will get the things so here i will use this uh, line tool okay so do you see this do you see this yes this is the indent marker this is the indent marker so with the help of this indent marker i can do the necessary indentation okay i will delete this now now suppose this is the paragraph now first it will come first line indent it means what adjust the first line indent by dragging the first line indent so how do i do it how do i do it just from here up up the upper one okay the upper one i will just move it like this suppose till where i want to move suppose till this point i want to move okay this is the first line indent this is the first line indent it will move the first line i can again take it back very nicely and very smoothly i can take it back and you see i have connected uh, i have connected both i have connected both i have connected both and i can move it like this yeah now it is fully connected now uh, there is something called uh, hanging indent hanging indent if i use the hanging indent then what will happen just uh, just take the down one take the down one sorry you see i have taken the down one then what will happen you see the second line the second line okay the second line is going to move or the not the first line not the first line whatever line followed by the first line those lines will move with the help of this hanging indent now again i can 
take it back to its position again I can take it back to its position ok so here this is the hanging indent and then there is something called as left indent to move everything at a time to move everything at a time so you see this is the full full figure is moving at a time this is the full figure is moving at a time ok now this side also this side also indent is there this side also indent is there can you see here also indent is there ok now you see the left and the right border is uh, aligned justified so it is looking very nice so it is looking very nice I can make it more small like this I can make it more small like this and you see you see it is coming like this now. so this is about indent this is about indent now my dear students the same indent can be done with the help of this page layout in the page layout in this in this area this left indent right indent and this is the spacing okay this is the left, in, uh, left indent right indent and this is the spacing this is the spacing the spacing that you can see the spacing will improve uh, the spacing will increase here the spacing will increase here okay the spacing the spacing will increase here so whenever you use it you will understand very nicely so this is about indent after indent what we have is <coughs> after indent what we have is uh, uh, aligning okay after indent what we have is aligning how do we align it how do we align it so just select it very simple these are all the alignment options you can see in this way I can align right align left align center align and this is justify align justify means both the left margin and the right margins become equal that is justify align both the left margin and the right margin becomes equal now the next option is adding border to a paragraph how can I add border to a paragraph very simple just select the border go to page layout and here there is something called as page border can you see here page border just click this when you click this this dialog box will appear when you click this this dialog box will appear now there are three tabs are there one is border tab one is page border another is sharing so let me take the border tab okay border tab so when I take the border tab I get so many settings here which I want to use suppose this is a 3d setting here also few more settings are there I can use this setting and here some colors are there I can use colors also in giving the uh, in giving the borders and here apply to can you see here it is given here apply to apply to so I have applied I have to apply it to the paragraph so now you see in this way I can give a beautiful I can give a beautiful border to my paragraph and uh, people will really like it people will really like it so from here from here okay from here just uh, I will undo I'll undo to bring it back to the previous position page border from here so select the border okay if I select this border then only it will work then only the paragraph the whole paragraph will get the border but if I select the page border if I select the page border and I set it if I select the page border and I set it color so well, this is the color from here yeah this is the color some arts are also there from here I can even take the art then what will happen this will go this will go to the whole page my dear this will go to the whole page can you see I'll just show you with the help of the print preview option print preview okay you see it is looking like this your document is looking like this now when you print exactly it is going to display you like this when you print exactly it is going to display you like this okay this is the this is the um, option to come out of the print preview okay close and in this way I can set border in this way I can set border okay now if I click none it will in this way I can take it out of my range in this way I can take it out from the from the page okay next is bullet and numbering bullet and numbering very important 
Berlin.